All right, so uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading uh, March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below, it's going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So moving straight away to the spread here, the first card which stands for the topic of your week, uh, Aquarius, is going to be the Ace of Swords. Moving next, we do have the um, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be the Two of Cups, followed by uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the King of Swords. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Tree of Swords, followed by the next one here, which is uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the Five of Wands. And the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, that will be the Page of uh, Swords. Those uh, six cards. Oh. <clears throat> well... Well, to me, pretty much it looks like as a, um, I don't know how you can classify those situations where someone envies somebody and you are in the middle of it, okay? And it's pretty typical in a, uh, um, uh, in a love situation, you know, for example, um, you and somebody you, you love or you like, you are a little bit on the edge and that situation has been spotted by another person who likes you but you don't like them and they are starting to feeding up the fire that it is going on in between you and the person that you love with hope that, you, that to, to drift you apart even more okay so that kind of a situation we do have here and uh, the first couple of cards, uh, which stands for the uh, energies that are feeding up the topic and the topic itself, uh, it pretty much points that, uh, long story short here, Aquarius, it is that throughout this uh, week, you pretty much is going to find out who is holding up for you. Uh, in other words, who really cares about you, about your well-being, whose love is true for example and who is um, determined to help you with whatever who is determined to uh, cooperate with you and in generally who is ready to um, be around you and with you in good and in the bad through happiness and through sickness uh, and etc etc and uh, throughout this week here as we do have the ace of swords uh, as a topic uh, it looks like that you are going to see the true faces of the people that you are surrounding yourself with and especially those that you have an affinity toward um, your boyfriend or a girlfriend you know or your suitors as well um, friends and family and etc uh, etc et and you will be able to place the um i would say accurate understanding you will probably know gonna have a clue a pretty big one though how far you can go with specific individual in uh, throughout this uh, throughout this week and in generally moving forward into the future if you will uh, now, from another standpoint, however, now these cards, they do have quite of a different interpretation depending on what kind of a situation you are in. So I will try to grasp upon as much as I can here. But uh, also those cards could speak that, um, especially for those who are single, okay, it is that love is going to find you, but for a little bit but from a little bit of a different place that you are seeking it and it will require a little bit of readjustment from your behalf because in that particular case the ace of swords it's uh, it appears as a uh, sobriety it's like you sober yourself understanding that you are not seeking the love where you want where where you can have it and therefore you still can have it elsewhere okay and you have to readjust with some a little bits of a uh, extreme measures i'm saying a little bit i don't know how uh, 
what kind of a measures are in between moderate to extreme. So you are somewhere in the middle of those uh, um, of those measurements. But uh, in general, those couple of cards here are pointing that uh, love in all of its form, though not necessarily a romantic one, is gonna find you throughout this week. Uh, from another standpoint here, uh, those cards also are pointing that uh, if you are in a wish of something, or in, in other words, if you want something, for one or another reason, this week, you are gathered up the strength to ask it. Okay, up, up until now, you may, be, you, you may have been shy to raise your voice about it, or you may have a, uh, a diminished let's say self-esteem or self-confidence uh, to ask about it as well but not this week this week the energies are going to deprive you completely from a shyness and as well from ego and from 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 pride if you will and in uh, and that will allow you to pretty much raise your like I said raise your voice uh, in regards to what you want in general from a specific individual or from a situation in your life all of a sudden but the whole point here uh with those couple of cards it is that you are going to make rather a big improvement in terms of where your feelings are and you are going to move exactly into that direction to improve your feelings your emotions and in generally and in generally to feel yourself satisfied now if i have to interpret those couple of cards into more practical manner uh, they speak that your work environment is going to be rather very quiet and very calm and nobody is going to mess around with your business. And that will allow you to perform even better under the energy of the Ace of Swords, resolving some quite of a, an important matters that are in there. And uh, I already pretty much covered up in term of a, uh, in term of a relationship that you are to start experiencing love or these energies are going to help you to unfold love in your life into your relationship life however <clears throat> we do have the challenges and i said about you know that situation at the start of the reading that is to be the queen the king of swords and that is a competitor but it is not a competitor that you have to be afraid of that is a competitor for the person that you want to be with or the person that you are working with okay so that person it just wants to drift you apart from the one that you want to be around now you need to be quite kind of like you need to take the situation here seriously because king of swords they are quite ruthless people they simply do not care what kind of a consequences their actions are going to have as long as their agenda is fulfilled okay so they do not care how much they are going to hurt you they do not care how big uh, negative impact their actions are going to have upon the others around they do not care as well how much they are going to expand in a favor of um you know uh, kind of like a um a, sapping or severing your source of uh, of peacefulness and as well of love the only thing that they do care about is to have you by their side so uh king of swords they are completely deprived as well from emotions for them everything is about a um, a, a well-oiled machine for one or another reason you serve a certain purpose in their life or you would serve serve a certain pur purpose in their life and that's why they want you around but as soon as you fulfill your purpose they're going to get rid of you one or another way so challenging wise here it is it is to uh, it, it will be a difficult though it is to intercept you know those kind of like surreptitious and nefarious actions that this uh, king of swords is going to take around and what kind of an actions he is going to do uh, or she because it could be as well a woman well they are very they are master they are masters of of arguments in a sense of that they can bend and twist truths in a way that serve them best and this is where the gifts and the blessings the blessings comes to play in your reading aquarius uh, that will be the tree of swords 
and that card here as a gift and blessing points that no matter what you are to here there is nothing that you that you cannot forget uh, forgive excuse me and there is nothing that you cannot overcome as a uh, quoting quote painful truth although that is not going to be the entire truth all right so that card here points that there is nothing anybody can say if you are strong enough you are going to be given the strength here to sway you off your original goal and off your original agenda it is just is going to be quite unpleasant from your behalf to hear all, all of those bs uh, bs's and also shenanigans as well even more than that Tree of uh, Swords as a Gifts and Blessings, it, it offers tenacity in a sense of that the harder it is, the more tenacious you become. The tougher it is, the bigger uh, prize you're going to get at the end. And uh, also that card points that you will be able to heal, okay, from another standpoint. Healing from a failure, healing from a uh, very poignant experience from the past, uh, and healing in generally from those negative thoughts that you had up until now, and also grants you with the ability to get rid of negative thoughts as well. Someone tells you something that deeply hurts you, well, it will hurt you only for a couple of hours, maybe a day, but tomorrow you are going to have a different mindset in regards to it, and you will not allow those thoughts to dwell uh, within your mind, twisting and tangling it, making you feel lost. So that leads us to the next one, which is the impression of others. And that will be the five of so the five of wands. And uh, that card pretty much speaks that people are going to see you as a someone who is not giving up lightly and someone who is fighting to the very end. Because what we said previous uh, in previous readings, five of wands, a card that uh, it is, um, especially in this position, it's presenting you as a someone who hopes to the very last moment, who is... Uh, who is not bailing out of things till the very last or it's it's like until you do have a breath a breath breath within your body your faith is your own and therefore you're going to stick with your faith where your feelings lie here okay and you are to be uh, which the two of cups points and you are to be ready to do whatever it is necessary which is the ace of swords the situation itself in order to improve your circumstances in terms of uh, emotional status which gives us the clue that uh, it will be about a rocky relationship once again not necessarily a romantic one okay that could be a, a situation in between three friends you are one of them and uh, friend of yours seeing how you are distancing yourself from another friend of yours it's quite happy of it because they both are not liking each other okay and and that itself it's kind of and they're kind of like feeding up fueling you know the uh the fire that is kind of like combusting in between you and the friend that actually you can have quite of a benefit a benefit of being around you so uh yeah this is uh how people are gonna see you sneeze alert guys oh my god bless me anyway so uh this is how people are gonna <laughs> are gonna see you as is someone who is not giving up lightly and who is willing or ready to uh fight until the very end to sustain uh, um a relationship situation position no matter how big difference and how big gap you do have in between one another and the last one here it is the guidance and that is a beautiful guidance in your case Ace of um, Page of Swords, excuse me, and Page of Swords says, you know, <clears throat> often fictions are presenting themselves as facts. And before you decide what to do, you have to analyze everything against what you know to be true. And what we said about the King of Swords, these people, they are master of truth, meaning that they twist and bend in a way that serves them best. So they are likely to present you fictions as facts and instead of believing them blindly, you first need to kind of like um, put them against what you already know to be true. So do not take away, hasty, do not take hasty decisions, okay? And before you decide what kind of an actions you're going to take, you have to be a 110% certain that you have the accurate diagnosis over the situation 
that you are finding yourself at. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, a tough one, guys. And uh, I hope that at the end of the day, you are going to make the most well-found decision for yourself, how you are to approach that triangle type of a situation between you and two different people that are fighting among one, amongst one another for your attention, okay? And uh, that being said, in case you are once again interested for a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase search and upon purchase, depending on what service you have decided to go for. I will contact you within 24 hours, uh, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. Stay safe now and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.